tried a different method with my cinnamon rolls, cinnamon rolls this time, and I'm not real happy with it. I'm gonna go back to the other way. Well, we're all very tired. Go to church anyway. It's because you people don't sleep, you weirdos. Hey, 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 melatonin, did you take it? No. Where's your glasses? Have you done any dishes today? Any of those yours? I rinsed that one. Did I had you, a bunch of ketchup on it. Do, thank you. What are we doing here? Oh my gosh. Do you want me to cover it? Yeah. Yes, please. Can you find a home for it? It needs to go in the fridge. Bella, when are you going to clean all this up? Thank you. You know, I was just watching some dirt bikes, uh, the motorized ones. I don't know what those are called. I don't do those. But I was watching a bunch of those guys fly by on the trail this morning coming up to here. And um, then I saw some side-by-sides drive past me as I parked. I saw families walking up here and I was like, you know what? I'm doing this trauma series over in my short videos because I'm trying to make my heart lighter so that I can move on and just be happy and count my blessings of living in my favorite town on the planet and being around some of my favorite people. But you know what? I had to work so hard. I had to go through so much to get here, so I value it. Have a good day, y'all. on a mountain bike. Bo, you tell me what you like to do with the hammocks and why they're so nice. I just like doing this. We call it bat mode. I'm gonna get under you. Why? Can you show how you're hanging? Show me your face. Hmm? There you are. <laughs> Gives some deep pressure. He's done this since, you've done that since you were like four years old. Yeah, I know. You like hammocks? I remember doing this when we were in the the Newcastle house, but I was scarily high, like as high as that room. Oh, uh, well, you weren't that high, but it felt that high because you were tiny. Oh yeah, I was you were about high. yeah, you were tiny. Okay, we had six months. I remember it being like two times the height of me. I guess I, I mean, no. <laughs> yeah, it, there was once when we did it on a high one, but mostly we kept you guys low to the ground because I was always scared you were gonna die. <laughs> Don't mind me. yesterday we had this little 17 year old kid he's awesome he's the cutest little thing um but two weeks ago when i worked with him he had a panic attack and i had to help cover his shift and um yeah i was worried about him so his mom came and got him and blah 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 and today yesterday i worked with him again and it was really cool because we started out never asked him about his panic attack just started talking to him he had one moment where he walked behind my counter i was running an expo and he straightened all my tickets and I went, oh, do you have OCD? And he goes, no. And he smiled at me and he walked off. And he goes, I said, well, one of my kids has OCD. And my 17 year old, he's struggling right now because he won't take his meds. And he turned around and he's like, okay, so I do have OCD. But I tell people I don't because it's very embarrassing. I'm like, why? And he goes, it's OCD. And I go, honey, I got dyslexia, anxiety. I got lupus. I got... I was like, no big deal, OCD is nothing. And he started laughing, he goes, oh, it's something. <laughs> and I started laughing with him, and it's like, yeah, kind of all of my kids suffer from a little bit of it, but my 17 year old suffers a lot. 
the rest of the day was so cool. He was happy, he was smiling. We talked about things that he probably didn't talk about with other people. And he looked at me and he goes, you know, I usually tell people I don't have anything wrong with me, but you kind of know what's going on and that's comforting and I don't mind talking to you. And today I was thinking about that. I was like, how awesome for him to find someone. I'm glad it was me, but it could have been anyone that he could talk to and realize that, no, you're not weird. We're all weird. You're not the only one. We all have something. And it's cool to be able to comfort that little guy. And I think he had a good day. I know I did. I live a very different kind of life. Four side by sides just rolled past me right when I got to work. Yesterday, yesterday, no, two days ago, it was dirt bikes. And it's a very different kind of life. So here's kind of the things I've been thinking about lately. My life is incre incredible. I mean, I've worked so hard. I'm 47 now. I've worked my entire life to get to this place where my family is. And things are not perfect. Things are really, really hard. Having four autistic teenagers under one roof, incredibly difficult. So I have learned in my life that one of the coolest things I do is what works for me as a chronically ill mom of four teenagers with autism is to work my tail off for short bursts of time and then be able to stop and look around and see how amazing things are. I'm lucky enough that around me is incredible. I did that on purpose. I know life is hard. I needed this peace. I needed this nature to keep my sanity. And you know what? It was a conscious effort. Everyone in my life told me no. Everyone in my life told me um, limits. And from the time I was 12 years old and started getting sick, I was given limits. And the day I woke up and started really living was the day I started saying, well, why? Why can't I do that? Why can't I go there? What can't, why are you saying I can't? And you know what? Life got 